The high-tech company Google has a fleet of self-driving cars. By August, they had logged 480,000 kilometers. Major auto manufacturers in the United States and Europe are also working on the technology for autonomous vehicles. Volvo is doing road tests and says it plans to sell driverless cars by 2020. In September, California Governor Jerry Brown signed a bill to allow autonomous vehicles on the roads in his state. Today we're looking at science fiction becoming tomorrow's reality, the self-driving car. The technology for these cars includes cameras, radar and motion sensors. The systems have been improved through competitions sponsored by the U.S. government agency DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Richard Mason, an engineer with the RAND Corporation, helped design vehicles for DARPA's challenge races between 2004 and 2007. And every two years, the cars came back and they took in 10 times as much data as they did before. So after four years, you know, 100 times more data. Now they also cost, tend to cost more, but there's just this exponential increase in capability. Visitors to the recent Los Angeles Auto Show got a glimpse of the future, even though these cars need a driver. Cars like this tiny Mitsubishi have become more fuel efficient and new electronic features are making Hondas safer, says Angie Nucci of Honda America. A camera that's mounted on the passenger side mirror actually engages on your navigation screen so you can safely change lanes. Other safety features include collision warning systems on the front and the sides of the cars. These systems help drivers but don't replace them. Curator Leslie Kendall of the Peterson Automotive Museum says autonomous cars will go a step further and make the highways safer. By taking out the individuals in the transportation equation, you also remove most of the likelihood for an accident. But consumers may at first be reluctant to give up control. It's going to take time for them to come to realize that the technology is indeed reliable, but it will have to prove itself first. Richard Mason says the technology already works and the biggest challenge is reducing the cost for driverless vehicles from hundreds of thousands of dollars to something more affordable. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.